Freddy needs to put on her wrestler disguise so she can save those hogfish. Let's start with the belt buckle. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a wrestler? Oh! Yes! Yeah, kind of. Next, let's put on the bow tie. Huh? That's even better than before. Good. Let's finish the disguise with the 10-gallon hat. It's an orange 10-gallon hat. There. Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Great! I hope it fools the guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow rustler. Ahem, howdy. Luther, you're supposed to be hidden! I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Oh no! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Don't worry, even though Freddy and Luther have been captured by the hogfish wrestlers, they can still escape through this hatch. Freddy, look! I think there's a hatch under here. You're right, Luther. It is a hatch. The rustlers must not have noticed it because of this big pile of cannonballs on top. Maybe we can... There's got to be an easier way to do this. No, we'll never get it open with all these cannonballs on top. Oh, you silly fish! Just move the cannonballs off of the hatch! Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it! Great, with all the cannonballs out of the way, our heroes can find the hogfish. All right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Oh, you do? Also, hogfish can talk? Wow. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Gruntle. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. There are four different endings to the game. I'll show all four endings in this video. There are four endings, one for each culprit. Who's the culprit this time around? Here are the clues, ice, and a telegram. 
What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. Does that telegram sound familiar, maybe? Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. <laughs> So we need to find a way. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. We need to find a way to help the hogfish escape. In order to do that, we go to the front part of the boat. The item we need is here behind the rudder. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. To move the rudder, we go to the control room. And we spin the wheel. Hi to starboard, Ensign. Aye, aye, Captain Luther. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Let's go check. Haha, -ha, it works. Now we can grab that hook. Look at this neat hook. Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. It will be a lot safer if Freddy takes control of the hook. Let's go back to the hogfish. We have a chain that's connected to the anchor. You want to attach the hook to the chain. There! What are we going to do with that? You'll see. Then attach the chain to these bars. And finally, we press the red button to drop the anchor. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy. Fire away. What? No! Come back. Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? <sighs> I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law! Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? 
the clues were the telegram and the ice, that means our culprit is slim. Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <gasps> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time, and I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hat! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Now for the next ending. Hey! This time, our clue is music. This is the sheet music for this little piggy. I know that one. Don't we all? That means the culprit must be the piano player, Eight Fingered Phil. Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the rustlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're, you're... I'm Mr. Big, yes. <laughs> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought hogfish ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. 
Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hat! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Yeehaw! Now for the next ending. This time, our clue is a barbell. That big barbell looks familiar. Yes, it does. The barbell belongs to Nelson. Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, <clears throat> it was a barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no, I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <laughs> <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see since folks don't need very many buckles around here. I thought I might have better luck as a hogfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hat! Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. In the last ending, our clue is bubblegum. All the pigs are chewing bubblegum. I didn't know hogfish chewed bubblegum. One of the rustlers brought a whole bunch of it for us. I think he thought it was a normal part of our diet. Hmm, that's very interesting. And who sells bubblegum? No one other than Gil Barker. Mr. Barker, you've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Ah, uh, uh, uh -huh. We also read your IOU. Even though you tried to tell us it was a poem, you rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <laughs> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman, and I got to wondering what had happened to the rest of it. 
the hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yes, yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where, where the, the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Oh, my darling, oh, my okay, darling. Okay, they're going to sing oh through the entire oh ending darling. credits? My goodness. Okay, never mind. That's the end of the singing. Good, good. Uh, Luther's singing got a little bad at the end there. I, I was hoping he would stop. So, those are all the various endings to Freddy Fish number four. Freddy Fish and the case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. Thank you very much for watching my video walkthrough. You can check out my walkthroughs for the other Freddy Fish games. I've also played other games made by Humongous Entertainment, such as the Pajama Sam series and the Spy Fox series and the Putt Putt series. I did like the animation oh, in this darling. game. Oh, oh no, he's singing! Darling. Oh! oh my darling, you get a line, I get a pole, y'all go down the crawdad hole, darling. Shake a pop pop, shake a pop pop pop. That's not how the song goes. So there, there was a mistake with the animation at the very end. You saw in all the endings where Luther was talking in Freddy's voice. That that's kind of a mistake. And then. Freddy was talking without moving her lips. And that's kind of a sad way to end the game. And I, I think that error happened in all of the four endings. This game was not bad. I don't think I liked it as much as Freddy Fish number three. Uh, that game had six different culprits. And it also had, uh, let's see. You needed to find three items, which is sort of like this game. Sort of like this game, but uh, this game you always have to find the belt. That's one item you have to find every single time. Now granted, the belt does have two different items, like it has the mailbox cover and it has the letter, which you need the screwdriver to get. 
still, every single time you play the game, that's the big puzzle that you have to solve. No matter what, you're going to be finding that belt buckle, you're going to be getting the screwdriver. And, you know, in, in the previous game, you know, there wasn't one particular item which showed up in every single pathway. That's sort of the fun of the Freddy Fish series, is that every time you play the game, the items are in new spots, you get slightly different puzzles, but maybe not so much in this one, where where you have to do the belt buckle puzzle, and that's a, a big two-part puzzle. Now, it does change whether whether you uh, whether Sheriff Shrimp is going to be uh, hiding in the hat, or whether Sheriff Shrimp is going to be attached to that propeller wheel. So that, that, that's the one puzzle that changes from game to game, and uh, the other puzzle that changes from game to game. Oh, what was it? It was getting the air pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get the air pump in order to get the briefcase to give to Slim. Oh, 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 Luther. I was in the middle of a sentence and you interrupted. <laughs> Alternately, uh, if, the, if the culprits don't wear bandanas, what you need to do is you, you need to get the pepper and then use it on the fish so you can get the harmonica so you can give it to Slim. And that, that, that's okay, so Slim's either going to give you the, the bow tie or the bandana, and I, I thought that was fine. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching the video walkthrough again. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye! Do you really want to quit? I'm afraid I do, Freddy. This game has come to an end.